Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a brief demonstration of the dynamic auto-populating fields for the analytics and search APIs in API Explorer. And these are drop-downs that are going to replace string inputs. And you'll get a better idea of these features and their benefits as I go over them case by case. So let's start, and I'm going to take the analytics case first. Now for this one, you need to be logged in to the Developer Center in order to use this feature. And another note is that this feature is going to apply to most of the resources following the pattern of POST, API, V2, Analytics, with Query on the end of the resource name. So I'm going to take the Conversation Aggregates Query and open this up and make sure I'm not in reading mode so that I can build a request and then I'll come down into the request body and find filter open that up and within that I'm going to select predicates and I'll get this dimension field and this value field now the dimension drop down if I were to open that and select user ID QID division ID media type organization presence ID or system presence then what's going to happen is I'll get a drop-down that replaces this value field and it's going to contain my organization entities. So I will demonstrate and I'm going to select division ID because that's the first one I come to and we got this drop-down here that's going to contain the divisions for my organization. So if I select one that name is going to automatically get converted to its UUID representation over here in the request. And I can check the invocations tab as well and make sure that it got added, which it did. So the benefit here is that you get this list of divisions for your organization where you can just find the name you're looking for instead of having to find a UUID associated with that division and enter it manually. Now another dimension that's a little bit different is media type. So if I select this one and I'll choose a value, this one is not going to get converted to a UUID, it's just going to get inserted as is with the string into the request. So that's analytics and now I'm going to come down to search and this one's a little bit different. It's going to apply to most of the resources fitting the pattern of POST, API, V2, with search on the end of the resource name. So I'm going to just take API V2 search and come down into the request body and find the query array. Open that up into search criteria and I'm going to add a new field to this fields array and then I'll get this drop down that contains all the valid search criteria for this particular resource so I will just choose one at random you can see that got added to the request and same thing in invocations tab it got added down here as well so this is giving us a list a valid search criteria for this resource so that we don't have to guess that our field that we manually enter is valid. So that concludes this demo and thank you for watching.